stay a while and listen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Live 6.2, which did release today on Tuesday, June 23rd. My name is Necroxus, and today we are going to begin the Legendary Quest Chain, which is basically the only thing that I had not shown you on the 6.2 PTR. That is by design, both for your benefit and for mine, because I didn't want to spoil everything for you guys or for myself. I do know a couple things that happen. Hey, my buy, my auction of Frostweeds was sold. Um, I do know a couple things that happen in the middle of this quest chain, by just reading stuff about it. Um, I didn't really mean to spoil it for myself, but I found out. But I don't actually know how it ends, which is a first for me. I usually spoil all of that shenanigans for myself. So we're going to begin. If you remember, 6.1, we left off with this quest. Um, we just found out that we have freed Garona and Gul'dan has taken control of the Iron Horde. So the quest we got then was our campaign in Draenor has taken an unexpected turn. With Gul'dan assuming power over the Iron Horde, history is poised to repeat itself. Our world is in more peril than ever. It is time to bring the full might of your garrison to bear against Tanan Jungle. Build a shipyard for your garrison. That was newly added because that was not in part of 6.2. Or 6.1, excuse me. I will meet you at your new shipyard and we will discuss our next move from there. So, as you can see, I have gone through the tutorial part of 6.2. I built the shipyard. So, let's see what he has to say. Our transport is ready. The invasion of Tanan can begin. Okay. Yo, are your people prepared? Yes. The Dranai will lead an assault on the main gates while your navy circles around to the rear. Godspeed, Commander. Thanks, Varian. You sure did a lot this patch. Um, so yeah, we're not, I'm not actually going to show you this announced stuff because I already did that. So we're going to talk to Khadgar. Hmm. He says, we meet again. Now that you have a shipyard, let's talk about next Keep steps. your guard up. He says, with your base fully constructed and your army in place, we can finally bring this campaign to a close. All that remains is the fortified bastion of Hellfire Citadel. Command of the Seas! Gul'dan wasted no time integrating his Shadow Council minions into every rank of the Iron Horde. The naval fleet that once owned loyalty only to Gramash is now his to command. If you want to fight back, we're going to need more than just a couple of transport ships. We must build an arsenal. We're going to need your expertise, Commander. Upgrade your docks and create a fleet of uh, capable of dominating the seas. So first quest is upgrade to level 2 Be shipyard. This one is, we don't need no library card. If history is any indication, Gul'dan is training a whole generation of warlocks to marshal against us. If we act fast, we can stem the tide and make things easier on ourselves. As you and your fellow adventurers de venture into the depths of Hellfire Citadel, seek out tomes of chaos from Gul'dan's lieutenants. They're dangerous, so don't read any of them, especially the pictures. Um, Kagar being goofy again. So this is the collectathon part of this patch's legendary quest. Come back in one piece. Um, so yeah, that's it so far. And through the magic of editing, I will see you once I have completed more things so we can continue the story. But yeah, whoosh. That was, that was, that was the editing sound. Whoosh. See, that's the sound of the editing because now that I, I have completed it and we have level two already. So let's talk to Gadgar. There's much we can learn here. Well done, Necroxus. These docks are buzzing with activity. Cadgar claps his hands and rubs them together, a wicked gleam staring in his pale blue eyes. Let's do some damage. All right. Master versus Commander, I've been doing a little digging, or whatever you call digging in naval terms. Snorkeling. Oh, Cadgar, you're such a cheeky little man. Gul'dan has sent his most powerful flagship on a scouting mission to the four corners of Draenor. He is mapping out all the oceanic leyline conjunctions. This is information that I could use to upgrade your ring, but in Gul'dan's hands, it could be catastrophic. Scramble the fleet, Necroxus. Hunt down his infamous flag infamous flagship the master's call and steal that map before they complete their mission hurry complete the legendary shipyard missions until you defeat the master's call and acquire a dranaic sea chart come back in we one. will send Gul'dan's filth to the bottom of the sea. sure thing cadgar all right so this particular quest is uh i believe it's there's five separate naval missions you need to complete um and the final one will give you the sea chart I don't know if they are locked behind a weekly... Well, I finished... Yay, I succeeded. Um, yes, yeah, so one's already available. I don't know if if I complete this, the next one will show up right away. Um, I'm not sure, actually. But uh, I won't be able to find out for two days, even though I did spend all of my rush order... Oh, damn it. I spent all of my uh, garrison mission complete things from my mage tower already, which is a bummer. But... All right, so I'm going to work on that, and I'm also going to work on upgrading my naval uh, shipyard to level 3, 
which I believe is what you have to do at some point. And to do that, you need 2,500 garrison resources, 2,500 gold, and you have to complete three or 25 naval treasure missions. I'll just show you guys that was on here right now. Treasure missions are only these kinds. Come on with the treasure chest. And I already have some going right now. Like I have, two, I have three three different missions happening right now. I have one here. This one and this one, a treasure mission up here and up here. I actually could probably complete this right now if I wanted to. 70% like chance is pretty good for a legendary quest one. But, um, whoa, there's like a... How long has this been in the game? There's like a legit direct link to Wowhead. Is that, is, is that from a, is that from an add-on I have? I don't know. Alright, I will, uh, once again, through the magic of editing, I will do all of these shenanigans, and then, uh, we will see what happens next. So, ready? Ready? Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Three, two, one! Whoosh! Alright, I'm back. It's been, I don't even know how many weeks since last time, uh, I ended right before I cut the video here, so. If it, if it sounds like I'm just recording it at a totally different time, it's because I am. Um, thank whatever deity you believe in because holy shit i finally finished getting these 33 stupid tomes of chaos i cannot express to you guys how abhorrently frustrating it was to finish lfr last week and have 32 out of 33 tomes I, on twitter i threw like the biggest 13 year old girl just going into high school bitch fit that i think i've ever thrown in my entire life i wanted to go to california and burn blizzard headquarters to the ground because I only got one tome out of the three new bosses that opened up next week. But, it's all finished. And I have the Draenei Seed chart. I've had it for a long-ass time. I don't even know how long. A super long time. So let's just go. Find a way through. Master and Commander, we're here. Khadgar, we're finishing up. We're getting our ring today. Finally! So, I hope the Master's Call hasn't sent too many of your ships to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> how little you know, Khadgar. Because I've lost... A, like 10 or 15 ships up at this point the music oh, while awesome. epic I thought I wanted to have it on the video but maybe we'll turn it like right there <laughs> alright it was a little too loud alright yes yes this is it this map is invaluable by triangulating these oceanic junction points we can graph out Draenor's ley lines our key ley lines Hmm, there's where I built my tower, of course. Energy also seems to be converging near Karabor, and here, by the Throne of the Elements. Karabor is interesting because it's a callback to why Ner'zhul wanted to open up portals off of Draenor to escape at the end of the Second War when the Alliance of Lordaeron sent the Alliance expedition onto Draenor. Uh, he chose Karabor because that's a place where the Ley Lions converged. And that's just a little, little tidbit from our universe. Oh, very good. We'll be able to put this to use very soon. I'm back in one piece. And finally, what about those books, Necroxus? Cadgar gingerly looks over the spine of each book as you hand it to him, growing more and more visibly disgusted. Will you look at these? It's like a set of encyclopedias for psychopaths. Ah, oh, we're done! <laughs> Necroxus, we've got to destroy these tomes. Many of them have actual tortured souls bound into the pages, so we can't just burn them. Cordana will know what to do. Take these books to my tower in Sangara and give them to Cordana. Let me know when the deed is done. Bring Gul'dan's Library of Chaos. I like that description, Library of Chaos. To Cordana at Zangara and ensure they are destroyed. Give Cordana my best. She's been quite distant lately. Quite distant indeed. If you guys don't remember, the last time we left Cordana, we had the Orb of... Oh, what was it called? Orb of... Corruption or something that we used to free Garona's mind. We gave it to her and she was acting kind of weird And now that we know that she has been continually acting pretty strange. So hopefully um, I don't know what that's gonna bode uh, Of course, this is t Typical, you know the expansion that is supposed to call back to the old expansions in typical fashion mirroring that uh, Cadgar couldn't open a portal up for us Right to Zangara, Greetings. we have to fly to Zangara, even though he can basically portal anywhere he wants, and Warlords of Draenor has taught us at this point that Khadgar is, like, ridiculously powerful out of nowhere. I mean, he was already powerful, but, like, he has this, he has ATS, he has Medivh's staff. Um, effectively, even though he doesn't have the energies of the other council members, but effectively, at this point, and what we know about Warlo uh, World of Warcraft Legion... 
he effectively has become the Guardian uh, just without the extra power that you get from all of the other members. But for all intents and purposes, the way he's acting, what he's doing, what he's trying to stop, he's basically the Guardian of Tears Fall at this point um, in every way except name and uh, actual getting the power. So, But my point is, if this was like Mr. Pandaria, Cadgar would have been like, Hey, travel to Zangara to talk to Cordana. Here, I'll open a portal for you. But since... <laughs> I've, I, I've hit a point at this recording, at this point in the video, and you guys will notice by now I've said it already several times in this video, that I have recorded this in really different parts. I think, the, I think I've think i started recording this on the day 6.2 came out, and record, the recording of this, the day of this right now, is August 21st. So... Um, I, I've said all of my criticisms about Warlords, but one thing that I will will say that I, I, I haven't really brought up a lot, but I think is a good point to, to mention is taking time to get to content is not content. So making me fly to Zangara isn't content. Careful, Necroxus. Cordana has declared Cadgar's towers off limits. She's acting odd. Now, I know there's caveats to what I just said. You know, there's different... Right, are we going to fight her right now? I think we are. I'm going to buff up. She's acting all corrupted. What's it? What's the? Oh, we can't see what it's called. She's acting a little bit corrupted. It's like she's a little crazy pants. Let's prepare for battle. But I, I granted uh, my statement that I just made. I understand that there is a limit. I don't think we should just be able to go wherever we want instantly. But I still think the idea that traveling to somewhere is itself content is goofy. Oh, there's arcane guardians are dead here too. I just I just noticed that. So let's see. What's she? I have my little... Oh, that's what that noise is. I have my little pet following me. <laughs> I'm going to turn him off. Uh, now if we can see all the stupid names I have for my pets. Shh, don't, don't, mention, don't, don't bring up the fact that one of my pets' names is Danky King. Uh, Cordana, are you cool, dog? Oh, you're like burning books and stuff in here. This is like the things a crazy person does. What say you? I am busy, Necroxus. Finish your business here and move on. The Orb of Dom of the Orb of Dominion is what it is. Uh, what are you doing with the Orb of Dominion, Cordana? Nothing. Nothing that concerns you. I had this under control. Well, okay. I guess we're just going to leave. Bye, Cordana. I'm sure you're not completely crazy right now. <laughs> really? What are you doing with the Orb? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I have it under control. I don't trust this place. Mm. Cadgar wants you to destroy these books. Books? Yes, Gul'dan's tomes. Are you sure Cadgar didn't try to use them? Pretty positive. He was pretty disgusted about what he f what he saw on them. Books of power, books of knowledge, books written in the language of chaos. Don't you worry, champion. All will be destroyed. Yep, she's completely batshit crazy at this now, point. Give me your ring. I need it. Give it here. Oh my. Commander. Cordana is invulnerable to all damage until the Totem of Chaos <clears throat> are destroyed. That does not bode well. Know. Yes, your ring. The ring! The one Cadgar has been cooking up for you since we arrived on Draenor. Give it here. I want to just borrow it. <laughs> I like how the options are no or oh hell no! I'm going to pick that one. Oh hell no! Then I will take it from you for the glory of Gul'dan. All right, so you are crazy. Let's uh, destroy these. And let's uh, hopefully not kill you because, I mean, she's a pretty cool character. She's not, like, super important, but I don't want her to die. That's that. And that one. The Orb of Dominion spoke to me. I saw the truth. So you are completely batshit crazy. Got it. Don't worry. Four chaos bolts and all your problems will be gone. You ain't siphoning my essence, bitch. Edgar is just a child, swaggering around, torturing his prisoners, playing with lives, dabbling in magics he pretends to comprehend. I mean, she's kind of got a point about the torture of, of Garona, which I mentioned in my last video, but I don't know. Very well. Walk away. Nothing will stop Gul'dan, for the Legion stands behind him. 
Mark my words, your leaders will betray you. Azeroth will burn. Oh, she's getting away. Hmm. I mean... And Q, Cadgar arriving right now. No? I mean, I get that she gets away. I think it would be a little bit more tragic if we killed her and kind of cement the fact that Cadgar has kind of, in a way, been screwing with powers that he shouldn't, but Cordana isn't necessarily a powerful enough person to be like, oh no, she got away! Where am I going? Do I have to go all the way back to my garrison now? I do? That's really weird. That's a really kind of, like, archaic vanilla thing to do. Can I just use this? So yeah, I don't know. I mean... I mean, let's be frank, I knew this happened because, you know, I, I looked at the stuff that came out when 6.2 was released because they unleashed all the legendary stuff, but someone, I don't remember who it was, someone said, because I was talking about this on Twitter, someone said maybe Cordana escaping is how Gul'dan knows in World of Warcraft Legion where the Vault of the Wardens is to find Illidan's body. And I think that's an incredibly fascinating idea. That's entirely possible, because Cordana herself is a warden, so she would know where it is. Knowledge is power. Cadgar's face falls as you describe your encounter as the t at the tower. Cordana? Oh, no, no, no. She's been very distant lately. I just... I thought it was part of her stone-cold warden routine. I didn't realize... Ah, Necroxus, you see? This is exactly what Gul'dan does. He finds our weakness and turns it against us. Be careful who you trust. Ah, Cordana. Cadgar turns his eyes to the sea. Cordana. Be vigilant, friend. Um, light be with you. You've done everything I've asked, Necroxus. I believe we can apply one final enchantment to your ring. But we must be cautious. Last time I augmented your ring, I killed you. Sorry. It will take a divine act to empower you further. Oh, cool. Fortunately, you've made some powerful allies during your time here. Travel to the Temple of Karabor where Yurel is waiting for you. With the blessing of Anaru, your ring will become as powerful and unique as, well, you yourself. Go to Karabor. You have earned it. Oh, mama. For Azeroth. Once again, couldn't have just been like, eh, hey, here's a portal for you, buddy. You gotta make me go all the way back. Flying still isn't in the game yet. It's not gonna be in until September 1st. Funnily enough, my subscription will be up by then, and I'm not renewing it until Legion comes out, because I was only keeping it up to finish this, so... I made that whole big video about, yay, flying is coming back, and they released it two months late. Because of a bunch of crap, according to lore on Twitter, or on the official forums, but... I'll be talking about that in, a, in my final thoughts video about Warlords, because... I'm doing this one, and then I'll have my... I'm just completing all of my things at once, apparently. And then I'll have my final thoughts Light video. And that'll be it for Warlords of Draenor content. Thank God. So, yeah, I don't know. I really do like that theory, though, about about Cordana is the one that tells Gul'dan where the Vault of the Wardens is and reveals that Ilden's body was taken there by, Ev, by my Ev. But then again, I believe in the description of my Ev's character on the official Legion website, it specifically says that Nobody knew what happened to Illidan's body. But I guess it wouldn't be a stretch for a warden who knows what other wardens do and know that the wardens have this place. I don't know if... I don't think it would be a stretch to say that even though she didn't know... Uh, even though Cordana didn't know that Maiev took Illidan's body there. Um, if they knew that Illidan's body was still somewhere and he could be resurrected, I would say the fault of the wardens would probably be the number one place to look. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's not too much of a stretch for me there, but I do really like that theory. I don't know if Blizzard's actually going to do that because that's a little bit too clever for them, I think. I think, once again, with some other things, that they happen to just stumble into some storyline stuff making sense, um, <laughs> I wouldn't give them that much credit unless they come out and say it. But, all right, here we are. So, where are we going, actually? Oh, we're going to that little, little that weird stadium. Where you get that message from Velen after he dies. Cool. <sighs> I'm 
taking in Karabor, taking in Shadow Moon Valley, and remembering how awesome this place looked, and remembering how great the individual zone storylines were, except for, you know, Gorgron, but uh, the individual storylines, I wouldn't even say Gorgron really doesn't even have a cohesive storyline. It has, like, a bunch of jumbled ones stuck together. And I'm just... I'm sad that Warlords wasn't as good as it should have been. Car is here. Welcome, Commander. Cadgar tells me you've accomplished so many great things. Cadgar, you how did you get here, Cadgar? Cadgar, you son of a bitch, you portal your ass here, and you couldn't be bothered to portal me here, but all all the Axarchs are here. Akama never change. Who they did like virtually nothing with after Shadow Moon Valley, which is sad. Nael from the Rangari. Did they finally give her her own voice? We must learn the secrets of Dranor. This is such a puzzling world. We are the eyes of the Prophet. Yeah, I don't remember her having her own specific voice initially. Maybe she did, and I didn't notice. And Maladar. Hear the souls of the dead. Maladar, outside of Yorel, well, I guess Yorel's a new character, but an old returning character. Maladar has gotten like the most development in warlords and i did wouldn't out of the draenei and i would not have seen that coming we must unite uh it is an honor to fight alongside you necroxus from the moment i first encountered you inside that horrible tunnel beside the dark portal your presence has always inspired me kara too sees your inner strength are you ready to speak with the naru i am ready Yorel. too bad you're not coming home with us you're awesome i don't know why because you're a great character but mm. we take your knee champion it is a rare and special privilege to be blessed by a Naru. No, it's your dialogue. Are the torchbearers who bring the light to darkness. Blessed oh, are Valen. the Valorous who stand fast in an unjust world. Champion. A great darkness has taken root on Dranor. The righteous will flock to your banner. You must not falter. Go now with the light's blessing. Take the fight to our enemies. The fate of two worlds hangs in the balance. Did you hear anything? Did the Naru speak to you? Oh, so they all didn't hear it. I was just going to say, so what, Velen's ghost can just come back whenever he wants? Oh, that really kind of lends credence to the theory that they didn't go anywhere with, and I wish they would have, that Velen combined with Kara and became part of it. Oh, that was cool. I know the Horde one is different. You go see the elements, but uh, I don't have a Horde character, and I'm not going to replay all that shit just to find out. There is a time for prayer and a time for... <laughs> you have earned this, Warlock. Mm. Things that would not make any sense if they were taking in canonical con context. You've traveled the length and breadth of the world. You've surmounted unimaginable odds and stood toe-to-toe -to -toe against ancient beasts, dark magics, and terrifying machines... Time and again, you've inspired my people with your patience and bravery. Thank you, Necraxus. Choose your reward. All right. So this is strength. This is the defense one. This is the tank one. I think this one is the one I'm looking for. But let's look at the others. Strength, that's not for me. Agility, intellect, says spirit, though. And this is healing. So this one's mine. Nithramus the All-Seer. With commander. Whatever you should do next, know that you have the full support of the Dranai people. I did it! Kadgar wants to talk we to me again. Stand with you. Hip hip hooray! Nobody can cheer for me? Come on. Oh! I just wanted a little pomp and circumstance and they gave it to me. Thank you. There is much we can learn here. Darkness Incarnate, we have one final task before us, Necroxus. We must defeat Gul'dan and unravel his plans for this world. I have no reward to offer you. I have given you everything I can. Come, when you and your allies are ready, we will march on Hellfire Citadel and end this. This quest really makes no sense because we already established that I was already attacking Hellfire Citadel. But alright. From every passing moment, Gul'dan grows in power. 
but he no longer slinks through the shadows. We know where he is. We know what he's doing. Now we strike. May the light have mercy on all our souls. Hmm. So what does this mean? Do I just need to do... Do I just need to beat Archimon? Will that... Will that... Ugh... No, I'm gonna release this video, and I'm, I'll, I'll do I'll do this quest after I complete. Maybe I'll see when next week comes out. Archimon comes out, and see if that changes anything. But this I'm I'm done like delaying the video. So let's see. Uh, Nithramus, the All Seer, use awakens the power of the Savage Hollows worn by you and your allies, increasing the damage you deal by 25 percent. When this effect ends, each empowered player unleashes a blast of light. Mouse, could you stop moving? That uh, strikes all enemies within 20 yards of the initiating player's location. Inflicted damage equals to 25% of all the damage they, they dealt while empowered. One of the three Savage Hollows. That's what they're calling these Savage Hollows. All right, what can I? Re which ring can I replace with this? Um, oh, the one that I have already. So sweet. Put that on there. Let's just enchant that just for good measure. I like mastery. Right, mastery, right? Yeah. I can't enchant this. All right. I do know one last thing that I can do is... I got a fancy new monument for my Gerson. Let's equip that before we say ta-ta for now. I guess I'll... Oh, shit, I can't do Arkham on my... Uh, maybe I'll buy one more month with gold. <clears throat> Just to see if... Uh, if this panders, or this, uh, words are hard. If this gives me anything. So here we go. Here's my crafting one, which I got, like, right away. Because, I that's the only thing I really do. Um, I have, I can't believe I don't have this one for pet battles yet. But, alright. Um, this is the Pexus Crystals. This is for killing Archimond on normal or higher before. This used to be what they gave you for the ring. Which is just freaking sweet. But I get they have a new one now. There we go. Da 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 da. We did it. Is there an effect when I use the ring? Let's take a look. Look at all of these things in my garrison that don't matter. Sorry, sorry. I'll stop doing that. <laughs> I can't help it, guys! I can't help it! Alright, so... Let's... Empower! Woo! I'm giant! Nithramus! So that's all the effect is? The little blue derpy derp around me? And then it goes to that. Wow! That's disappointing! I don't know, the cape had such a bigger punch when the effect happened. Granted, it became a little bit annoying after a while, but, you know, at least it was flashy. And so we end we end our gameplay videos of Warlords of Draenor on the same emotional note that we ended our first video covering its BlizzCon announcement, which is, as you guys might remember... Uh, what? <laughs>